Hi, John here. Today we're going to look at a geothermal power plant and we're going to see how we can make electricity using the heat from the Earth's core. So let's go down. We can go down here and you can see we've drilled two pipelines. One of them is red and one of them is orange. The red one represents the hot pipeline. This is our production line and the orange one, which we'll call the injection line because we're injecting back into the Earth. What we have here is a blue shaded area. This is what we call a water dominated reservoir. And we're gonna have a lot of hot water and steam in this space. You can see slightly below that, this red area, and that represents the heat that we're getting from the earth. And this is radiated outwards into the rock. You can see that we've actually drilled down quite deeply. Typically geothermal plants drill down to two or three kilometers in depth to reach a resource like the one here, shaded blue. But this really depends how far away you are from the tectonic plates. If you're away from the tectonic plates or if you're quite far away, when you drill down through this layer known as the lithosphere, you'll get a temperature increase of about 25 to 30 degrees Celsius per kilometer depth. So let's just zoom back in now. We can see that we're getting hot water and steam through this red pipeline here. And that's gonna come out through a valve on top. This is known as our production well and our production head. And this hot water and steam is then gonna enter into four pressure vessels. One, two, three, four. What we're gonna do here is drop the pressure so that some of that hot water turns to steam. Whenever you drop the pressure, it's always easier for water to turn to steam. And this process is known as flashing. So once we've got more steam from the hot water, we're gonna take the steam out of the top and we're gonna feed it to a turbine. And we'll call that the high pressure steam. So that's the high pressure steam line going off to a turbine. And in the bottom here, I'll just zoom in a little bit more. We can see the hot fluid coming out. So this is geofluid, the hot water, and it's going into another flash evaporator or another steam separator. So again, we're going to produce steam, which comes out the top and the geofluid or the water, the hot water comes out. It's slightly cooler now and we're going to flash off more steam. So another pressure reduction here, produce more steam. And that is then going to return to a holding tank or a storage tank. You see it going into the top here. So what we've got on these two lines where it's been flashed off twice more or two more times, the steam comes out of the top here and goes onto this manifold. And the steam comes out of the top there and goes onto this manifold here. We can see them joining up onto a common manifold. That is then gonna to go to the steam turbine. And we're gonna call that our medium pressure steam line or low pressure steam line. So we're feeding steam into a steam turbine through these two inlets. Zoom in here. High pressure on the right, a medium or low pressure on the left. And then we're gonna drive a steam turbine. So the steam turbine is then gonna spin or rotate, and it's gonna rotate a generator, which is this item on the end here. The generator rotates and we produce electricity. So when you think about it, that's kinda of cool. We've just used the Earth's heat to produce steam, which we're then gonna produce electricity. So unlike a coal fire power station, we don't need to create a fire or create a heat source or anything like that. We'll just use the heat from the earth. So now we're making electricity and some of that steam now, in fact, all of it, needs to be condensed so that it can be injected back into the earth again. And what we'll use is a cooling cell. You see here, there's a cooling cell. It's got these two pipes going into the top. So what will happen is the water from the cooling cell will come out, it will go down here, down here and into a condenser. It's gonna condense that steam, which we're no longer gonna use for the turbines, we don't need it anymore. It's gonna come back out and then it's gonna get rid of some of that heat energy by being passed through the cooling cell. So we'll get rid of the heat energy to the air and then after we've got rid of the heat energy and the temperature of the cooling water has been cooled down again, we'll send it back to the condenser again. So all we're doing really is removing heat from the steam in order that it condenses again. Now, obviously we've got a lot of heat that we need to get rid of. 
So we're going to have a lot of these cooling cells, maybe even a quite large natural draft cooling tower. The geofluid then comes out of the turbine onto a common manifold, along here, and then into the storage tank. So we're going to store the geofluid in this tank, and then we're going to slowly re-inject it down through here, and re-inject it back into our underground reservoir. Now that whole setup is known as a double flash geothermal power plant, and that's how we generate electricity using only the heat radiated from the Earth's core. If you would like to know more about this process, go to a search engine, type in double flash geothermal energy process, and you should be able to learn a little bit more about it. Thanks very much for your time.